Hello, so this lab, my goal was to basically do basic functionalities of OpenMV. So, design myself a nice little stand with a little GoPro mount kind of style thing. Makes it a little easier to adjust. Um, not the most solid mount, but uh, as far as that stick coming down. But, um, good setup for this lab. So, got the two wires. It goes over to a push button. Um, so, basically... With that push button, every time I push the button, it takes the picture, and then the second portion will be time lapse. So every 10 seconds for the time lapse. Um, so if we kind of make this smaller, you can look over at this screen. Here's the push button. So if I connect it and then press uh, play, so initializes the picture. Um, picture's always delayed just a little, or like it's um delayed by one picture so if I press the button it doesn't do anything but uh press it again it's the picture previous um so as you can see trying to make things move around here um so you can see it going um if we go over to go over to the files and then look at Images, which I don't have this particular code design in images, but uh, nothing shows up in here. No new pictures. So that's because of how the computer design it won't just like auto update onto the on the SD card. I actually have to reset it. So if I can this and then plug it back. So the pictures were already saved onto the SD card, but uh, it just doesn't show up is kind of creating some confusion but you see now now that all the pictures have showed up um so that's how i s i guess didn't necessarily solve the problem but i understood the problem so if we go over here to the code basically kind of sets up the different libraries uh sets up the clock sets up the sensor in this area um this is kind of so doesn't what is it uh debounce you know, and then it's like you hold the button down, it won't double take till you release it. So, if first, not second, basically takes the picture, creates a file name based off of the time, and then um, saves the picture onto the onto the SD card. Uh, if you look down here, it'll even give you a little take picture, which is the print, telling you that the picture has been printed. And so that is this part of the code for the first part of the lab, and now we will go over to the second part. Alright, so in this section, um, as you can see, if we go over to images, nothing in the folder. Um, for this one, I can remove the button, so the button's gone. Um, I did one second instead of 10 seconds just for the sake of the video, but if I wanted to change it, I would um, I'd click right there and then uh, add another zero to make it 10 seconds instead of one second. And then I have it set to 15. So this is how many pictures it'll take. Um, so if I connect the card and I press play, you can see it starts taking pictures. So as I move the mouse around, Every 10 seconds, it uh, or every one second, it takes pictures for up to 15 pictures. So, and the same idea, keep putting things in there. So, how I have this code set up is as soon as it's done with the 15 pictures, it'll reset because it won't show up on my computer. So, this was just went about this code just a little different. So, if we go over to the USB images now. Last time was blank. Now it has pictures, so we can go over to and click the pictures. And uh, as you can see, there is the there's all the pictures that I took. Um, so if we go over to the code, uh, here's the reset. So this is what actually made it all reset. So basically. Time and date's not set up quite as gracefully. Oh, sorry, I have the window open still. All right, so now that we're here, um, I'll talk about the reset real quick again later, but uh, 
basically up in here kind of sets up the time and date up top sets up the, the different libraries uh, this time and date's not quite as graceful as the other one but just kind of a different way of going about it so this sets up the sensor and then so then you do the skip frames this allows all the settings to take an effect uh, so I think the other code I did 2000 but uh, so I put everything into a while loop so this kind of does the time lapse so every 15 or every one second as I have set up right here um, it takes a photo for 15 photos which is right here and uh, yeah, so this time and date, it changes every time, um, every time it loops through. And then, um, if there's not a new, or what was the file called? Basically, this creates new folders, new files. Um, and then, uh, so once you get down to the bottom, it'll store it in the SD, SD drive. So it'll take that new snapshot, put it into images change the quality and then um, or set the quality and then yeah basically stores it and then adds a count of one right here so that basically allows it to loop through 15 times and then at the very end I have it hard reset so I don't want it to just keep continually looping it's a good way for it to stop looping and then um, also show my images for the sake of this project and that is my love for this week